Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing an overview of my designs. We have the RR Standard and the RR Station. Um, if you've been following the channel for a while or you follow me on Instagram, then you probably know the deal already. Um, most of what I'm going to be talking about um, will be <laughs> review for you and you already know it. But for those of you that are new to the channel, or new to knife standards, definitely stay tuned because um, I'm going to go over some of the little details of my designs and um, also production update for the RR station. So we'll go over some cool stuff, some details. Um, try not to make this video too long, but definitely some good info, um, especially if you're new to the channel, uh, kind of a, an introduction um, to my designs and kind of what I'm about. So we'll get into it in just a second, but first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, so get that out of the way, and let's talk about, which one should we talk about first? All right, so actually, the first thing I wanna talk about is um, just a quick review um, of my design. So first up, we have the RR Standard. This is my first design. Um, so these are actually available on my website now. There's two variations that are available. This comes with the wire clip and I will have more milled clips, um, in the summer. So in the next couple months, I'll be getting a shipment of milled clips and, um, uh, this is in MagnaCut. So thumb stud deployment, MagnaCut, he treated to 62 to 62.5 HRC. We have a really insane compound grind, hollow ground, super thin, really ridiculous swedge coming down, and then flat tip. Um, these are hand ground, magna cut. Boom. And, um, yeah, I just, I, I carry one of these every single day. No matter what else is in my pocket, the RR standard is also in my pocket. Um, snappy detent, smooth action. Of course, this is a titanium frame lock. This is in the standard finish, which is bead blasted titanium. You have no tooling on the show side, tooling on the clip side, all T8, um, except for the thumb studs, but you know, not really gonna mess with those. Anyway, RR standard in Magna Cut. Um, I don't have that many left, but the ones that I do have left are available at knifestandards.com. So, boom, we got that. Put that aside. I'm sure you guys already know the deal about the RR standard, but in case there's anyone new, thought I would go over it. And we'll get the wire clip out of the way. Now to talk about the RR station. This is my second design and my latest design. Yes, it is a big knife. Um, these are currently in production with Best Tech. We're, we are well into production and um, they're actually a little bit ahead of schedule, which is nice, um, but no you know, formal announcements yet as far as the timeline. We're still sticking to our late August uh, delivery window. So late summer, late August. Um, this is gonna be in Vanex. Hollow ground, Vanex. You can see the grind on this. Like, wow. <laughs> they did an amazing, amazing job. But anyway, hollow ground, Vanex. Um, we had this kind of bolster lock action. Carbon fiber. Um, there's three variations. Got the carbon fiber inlay. Super comfortable in hand. And these come with the mill clip. So the mill clip. Uh, will be installed um, when you get it. The cool thing, um, I, well, there's a couple of cool things about this knife, but first of all, the action is just insane. You can do multiple deployment methods, thumb stud, um, middle finger flick, and it also can be front flipped. I'm not the best front flipper, but it can be done. Uh, wasn't really designed to be a front flipper, um, but it's definitely front flippable. Uh, what else? Oh, so that's also what I wanted to talk about. So these are the same clips. These are the same milled clips. 
and of course I did that on purpose. Um, if you have a milled clip that comes on the station that you bought and you want to put it on your standard, they are interchangeable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the milled clip so you guys can see kind of how this works. So the milled clip, um, this rather, the milled clip sits in with these little grooves into the scale. All right, so there's no wiggle, there's no uh, movement on the clip. It's very sturdy, and you can. For me personally, I prefer the wire clip. That's how I love to carry my knives, and that's how I carry my uh, personal RR standard. But you can put in the wire clip. It fits right there. If you prefer the mill clip, boom. So again, it's the same mill clip for both. So if you have the mill clip on the station, you wanna put it on the standard, vice versa. Same thing if you wanna put a wire clip on the station. That's also how I carry my station is with a wire clip. So I actually removed the titanium clip. I picked one of my wire clips up Put that in the slots so it's the same here i'll turn it this way same setup same groove same clip on both so interchangeable i'm going to go ahead and put eh, i guess i'll put the, i'm going to put the wire clip back on um the wire clip is a little bit trickier to get back on but it's it's not a big deal you just kind of put that in between there i like to pinch it and then you put the whole thing in Boom. There we go. Wire clip. Good to go. So I'll be carrying this today. <laughs> and um, as far as the station goes, again, three variations. Pre-orders have closed for the station. Um, I My plan is to do a small drop hopefully i have extras and that again will be late summer that's where we're looking towards late summer and um, of course one thing that i forgot to mention about the clip we have the standard which is right hand carry only and the station it is reversible so you can put the milled clip or the wire clip on both sides to carry it. This is very lefty friendly because of the bolster lock. You don't have to worry about putting too much pressure on the frame um, and kind of binding up the action. So reversible clip, wire or milled. You also have some really nice internal milling. Of course, it's hard to see. Eh, can you guys see it? Kind of. Yeah. Um, and what else? Am I forgetting anything? Mm, I also might have some extra inlays. Um, and I might have a few different colored inlays. If you got, let's say you got the, uh, the charcoal version, but you really want, you know, whatever color. I might have a few extra inlays that you guys can buy separately. Um, and kind of customize your station. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know how many I'm gonna get um, or, or when they're arriving. I think they're gonna come with, with the station. So that should be, uh, you know, late, late summer, but really excited about that. And of course, a couple um, improvements on the station. There's gonna be one more jimping right there. Uh, also the thumb studs. They work really well, but you see how they're a little bit inside the scale. They're going to be extended just slightly. I think it's like a millimeter, just a little bit further out. So it's a little bit easier to grip for your thumb. And then, of course, the plunge is going to be extended and kind of pushed back just a little bit to give more sharpening life. This is not bad, but we wanted to give you guys a little bit more sharpening life and just extend that back a touch. So I think that wraps it up. We got the RR standard, the RR station. Um, one more thing is I am going to be doing a um, little Father's Day special. Um, of course, the, the pre-orders for these are closed, so 
I'll put that aside. But I'm going to be doing a little Father's Day special coming up pretty soon for the standard. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, something I've never done before. So it'll be pretty exciting. Father's Day coming up. Um, so I wanted to give you guys, you know, a little special deal on, on the standard. So there we have it. The RR standard, the RR station. Uh, stations are coming soon. Standards are available now. And of course, milled clips coming soon as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.